chemical toxicity, whether it comes from the environment outside or from within the body, is a huge major factor in chronic illness. In this slide, I have a hamburger bun. Anytime you eat bread, you have to consider that it's loaded up with glyphosate, also known as Roundup. And that's in the upper left corner, a guy spraying Roundup. And on the right, we have produce. And I've had commercial produce that tastes bad, commercial fruit that tastes like chemicals. It can be disgusting. But even organic produce could have some chemical toxins in there because of the rain. The rain carries glyphosate and it carries PFAS, which is a forever chemical. In the upper left corner, I have a living room. It's got drapes, couch, carpet, new construction, cabinets. They can off-gas chemicals that are disgusting and can cause a lot of problems. They also have flame, flame retardants, which are based in bromine, which I'll talk about in a moment. On the right side, any kind of cleaning material that's not organically based, that could be a problem for your health. And then makeup on the bottom left and rain on the bottom right. I already mentioned rain, 80% of the rain in the United States has glyphosate in it. And 100% of rain all around the world has PFAS in it, the forever chemicals. So here's some examples of environmental toxic chemicals. We have BPA from plastic, and we have other chemicals used for the production of nylon, polyester. And I'm mentioning here, the third one is per fluoro something something acid. The third, the fourth one, and the fifth one, they both begin with per fluoro. Fluoro means fluoride. I'll get to that in a second. Below that, we have diesel exhaust, xylene. The last one is polychlorinated biphenols, PCBs. Chlorine and fluorine rhyme. And I'll get to that in a moment. You should know this. You got to know this if you live on planet Earth. We have polyethylene, polypropylene, polystyrene. These are plastics and chemicals used in food and food containers. And then we have um, on the left side, bromomethane. And on the right, we have tetrachloroethylene and trichloroethylene. Chlorine, bromine, fluorine, they all rhyme. Why do they rhyme? Because they're all halogens. And in the periodic table of the elements, back in chemistry days when you're in school, there's F, Cl, Br, fluorine, chlorine, bromine. They all have the same number of electrons on the outer shell. And then right below it is iodine. That's why they're all in the same column because it's, they have the same number of electrons in the outer shell. Iodine is very nutritious. Every single cell in your body needs it, especially your thyroid. And for men, your thyroid and your prostate. Nobody is allergic to iodine. You might be allergic to shellfish or you might be allergic to an iodine supplement that has iodine attached to a protein, but nobody is allergic to iodine. You need it to live. Iodine pushes out bromine, chlorine, and fluorine. And the pharmaceutical companies and the agricultural companies rely on fluorine, chlorine, and bromine. That is the foundation of the chemical industry, whether it's for cows, humans, or plants. Big ag, big pharma, they use fluorine, chlorine, and bromine as the basis of their industry. And they want, they need you to have low amounts of iodine in their body. Why? Because then their drugs absorb into your body better. For example, Prozac is a drug and they attach fluorine to it. The fluorine allows the drug to, go, to bypass the liver and go straight into the cells. Fluorine, chlorine, and bromine are used to transport drugs so it goes right into the cells. Now, when you're low in iodine, you feel bad, your brain doesn't work as good, your muscles are weaker. They're relying on you to be weaker and more sickly. So the more iodine you get, you physically get stronger, your thyroid is happier, your brain works better. And then you're better able to push out the fluorine, bromine, and chlorine. Those three toxins are ubiquitous. Here's some examples of some lab work that I've run on people through urine testing to find out if they're toxic with chemicals. And it's not uncommon to find very high levels of chemicals in the body. In this example, glyphosate was 3.2 times too high. NAE, a chemical, is 41 times too high and BPA from plastic is six times too high. This is mine. And I'm detoxing for a long time, many years. And this is my profession. And yet I still have high amounts of chemicals in my body. If you've never detoxed, could you imagine how high yours is? 
The next one, this chemical called MEP in this person is 255 times too high. The next chemical, methylparaben, 263 times too high. And then the BPA 4.2 and triclosan is 30. Triclosan is hand wash. BPA is in plastic. How do you get rid of these chemicals? It's step six in the seven step blueprint to health. Now you can take chemical detox products, but you wanna really prepare your body for that because parasites, for example, hold onto chemicals, metals, fungus, lime, bacteria. Getting rid of parasites is in step four and five. And then preparing your body to detox starts in step one, foundational foods, that's your diet, a clean diet, low carb. Step two is to make sure that your energy production is good in your mitochondria. Step three is that your organs of drainage are healthy, liver, gallbladder, colon, lymphatic system. There's multiple organs that naturally clean the body out. And if they're stuck, especially the colon or the gallbladder and liver, you got to fix those up because your detox won't work. So, so it's ideal to go through the first five steps, then you're ready for step six, powerful detoxification. And chemical toxicity is ubiquitous. Every single person that I've had run on this chemical urine test, they've been very, very high, 10 to over 100 times too high in their urine. It's way more common than heavy metals. A lot of people talk about lead, mercury, and they should, but nobody talks about chemicals like we should. In the medical profession, they ignore this because why? Because they are a major source of chemical toxicity in your body. That's all they have is chemicals and knives to cut you open. So the chemicals add to your overload in your body. Take this test, it's called the Environmental Toxicity Quiz. It's on my website. The link is in the first comment. It's also in the description box below this video. Find out if you might have too many chemicals in your body, chances are you do, but take this quiz to find out.